Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Tonight, I'm out here, we're going to fry these crappie that we caught the other day. Uh, and I promised y'all that I'd show you how I fried them, and I'm just going to try to not do a big in-depth video, but we are going to show uh, how to make some hush puppies, I think. Uh, not sure, we may make some french fries, we may make some homemade french fries, I don't know, I have to look and see what all we got, but... The main thing is I have some people ask, what do you use to batter your fish and how do you fry them? So that's main, mainly going to be the topic of this. Uh, we're not going to do no huge big family eating all. Now y'all have seen in previous fish cooking videos that we've got those basket uh, Bayou Classic fryers. Those things work excellent. Uh, I really love that thing. But today I wanted to go back to where I come from is what I call it. This is old school. Uh, but this is what I like. Uh, this cast iron Dutch oven, I hadn't got my grease in it yet. We're going to start out with fresh oil. Uh, I'm bad to, to recook oil a time or two, but in these skillets, time you fry a few things and these crumbs get down to the bottom and those crumbs settle in there and get hot, they'll burn your grease up. And uh, so I'll be honest with you. Marie Laveau had to go pick up some cooking oil because I was fresh out. We actually had a little bit, but it wasn't enough to fill this up, and I did want to put fresh oil in it. So good thing is you need to, you need to have some good, clean, fresh oil. Uh, but we're going to get our stuff out, and we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to remove the camera over here, and we're going to get our stuff out and, and show you what I put in. I use yellow cornmeal, I put Tony's, and I put salt in it. And y'all, that's about all I use in my batter. I don't do a whole lot of other stuff. Now, the hush puppy is a little bit different game. Uh, and we may fry some onion rings. I don't know what all I will cook tonight. But y'all hang with us and let's get to frying these crappy up. Y'all, I just use old cheap brand. I ain't no. And I realize y'all the video ain't gonna be great tonight because of the lighting, but we're gonna do the best we can. Well, sir, I dropped that. I don't really like to throw garbage down out here because I'm the one who has to pick it up. But we're going to put the whole gallon in here, so. I want to help Daddy cook. You do, yeah, you going to help Daddy cook. Sure is, you are. Hi. I got my help tonight, y'all. Tell everybody on YouTube, hey. What they welcome to? Spirit of the Outdoors. The Outdoors. <laughs> He's about to get that Spirit of the Outdoors down there. And y'all, I got some yellow cornmeal. Oh, now I just dump in there about what I think I'm going to cook with. And that looks to be about right. We got the grease over there getting hot. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and apologize to y'all for the footage. may not be real great because this stuff about got dark on us. I intended to do this a little earlier, but I run around doing other stuff and didn't get my junk together. So what I do, I put my yellow cornmeal in this, and this is one of them shaker basket things. Oh, and I just kind of... I put my salt in this. I don't like to pour salt on top of my fish because this too easy to get them too salty. In here it don't seem you have a little more margin for error I would say because I'm a guesstimator you know what I mean. I, I, what buddy? Yeah we're gonna use that in a minute and then y'all I guess I ain't as close to Louisiana as some of y'all are. Some of y'all are down there in Louisiana I already know but y'all we not dumb up here either. We don't be doing no whole lot of cooking without Brother Tony's. I'm getting that where you can see it. I'll get a better shot of it in a minute. But anyway, we got we got old Brother Tony Satcher is him. I just wanted y'all to see about how much I put. Because this is just on the top. I hadn't mixed this in yet. But I just kind of lightly went over the top of that. Now you see... This is about, I don't know, half inch deep. I mean, this, I don't know. But anyway, I just mix this all up good in here. And then we'll put the lids on there. And I'll go get my crappie. 
I hadn't even got them out here. I was sitting out here drinking coffee and reading a book. I had to wait on my help to get him. Oh, I'm going to cut Brody some up that I'm going to cut these ribs out of. If y'all are... Uh, And I just threw them fillets in there like that. I like to eat off of these ribs myself. But I need to be able to give Brody some. It ain't got bones there. So I wind up sitting there having to pick bones out of fish if, if I don't do it this way. I want a chair. You want a chair? Mm -hmm. Why you need a chair, buddy? I you can't see? Folding chairs probably come from the church. We spray painted so they wouldn't know it was theirs. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no folding chairs from the church, I know. You have to paint them so you don't see where the church's names wrote on the back. Hey, please, please, where are you getting with that? What do you want? I can't handle that chair scrubbing. How many does Brody and Marie Laveau need? Because I like to eat this. That nasty still had a little bit of skin on it, which is fine, as long as there ain't no scales. Y'all, this thing right here, you shake it up like this, and that. Look, look how pretty them come out. They got a good even coating on there. That's the way you do that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a few more in there because it'll cook. This big skillet will cook more than what I'm just put. So. I, I really like this shaking thing. I've had it for a long time. You seen the edge was chipped off okay. of it. Yeah, we're gonna, Debbie's gonna let you see, buddy. Look at her. Look at her, look at her. Ooh, well, get your nose back. You're gonna let a booger fall in it. <laughs> we're gonna wait for that dial right here to get over here about 275 before I put fish in there. If you can read this, and I can stay out of light, this is convection zone, and this is deep fry. I never get over here past 300. I want to cook right shy of 300 degrees. I get the best results that way. We're going to make some hush puppies. So I'm going to cut these field garlic, and that's what I'm going to put in it. I do have some onion I may put in it. Let me chop these up. I'm cutting up these uh, garlics. Garlic? Oh, that one went flying. That went flying. Good Lord. Y'all, that kitchen knife won't cut hot butter. Daddy. Daddy. Yes, Brody. Daddy. What you need? That's wild garlic. What's that? What? What's that? It's wild garlic. What's that? You want to cut these pieces up pretty small. We got a jar of jalapenos. I'm going to put a spoonful of them in there. Or a spoonful or two. Cornmeal, we just gonna pour. That may be too much. And at this point, we're gonna start adding water and stirring it till we get the consistency we want.
All right, that's gonna be our hush puppies. All right, it's a little, got a little bit hotter than I really like, but we still in good shape. As soon as you drop these fillets off in there, it'll start cooling that grease down a whole lot. And y'all, I'm saying grease oil, but we call it grease down south. That's what it is, it's grease. And this was a vegetable oil, I assume y'all seen that. I'm gonna put all of these in there. I think there's plenty of room. Y'all, I got me a new dipper. It's a little small, but my big one is in such a nasty state of affairs that I throwed it away. Oh, well, I didn't throw it away. I kept it for doing most of it, but I ain't gonna cook with it no more. It got retired from cooking. Now y'all, you're supposed to just sit out here and kind of sit and watch this keep up with it, you know, and talk amongst your friends, but since I ain't got no friends, I just talk to y'all. I wanted to apologize about everything out here being yellow. Oh, uh, see this is March and we just celebrated St. Patrick's Day. Well, there's this little green looking little fella about yay high comes running around with this big black pot full of yellow stuff. You know, it takes a bunch of drunks to celebrate this man. They think that's gold that he's got in that pot. I've been trying to tell them for years that that pot is full of pollen and he just scatters it everywhere. And man, they get drunk and happy and wear green and celebrate it. And it ain't gold to me, it's pollen, I don't. But it happens every year and we just deal with it. I did wear my green the other day when I was fishing on St. Patrick's Day, but I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day. My bunch, my, my bunch come from more up in Scotland, in the Highlands. Don't get my clothes flying. Some of y'all don't even know who that is. Some of you do. But anyway, we Scots Irish. We have a little Irish in my background, but mostly Scottish. We let these cook. Usually it takes about seven minutes cooking these. But uh, if y'all will sit here and watch these and don't let them burn, I'm going to go run and get something and throw a newspaper in the bottom of it to put them on. We might use a paper towel. We'll just have to see. I got me a good southern mud pottery. Y'all yeah, get a good look at that. Ain't that a beautiful bowl? We're gonna, we are going to lay a paper towel in. That's what we're going to put our fish in there. Set that right there, and hope that little little youngin over there don't come get into it. What you over there plundering in? Um, yeah. I'm you want to go inside? Yeah. I That's cooling down. That's done got down to two fifty, y'all. Y'all sit right there and watch that get down that low. I even had to gauge over there where y'all would look at it. Didn't that one of you turn it up? Boy, boy, boy. Brody, come over here and get out of the hush puppies. Yeah, hush puppies. Yeah, it's what you over there. He's over there sticking his finger in the hush puppies. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't that what you was doing? A pee-pee. Again? Yeah. In his britches, y'all. He ain't got no diaper on because we couldn't break him no other way. Why didn't you pull your britches down over there and... Where'd you pee pee at? Why you was in that chair? Well, sir. They getting there. They getting there. I had to get me a light over him where y'all can see. It don't pay to make a video when folks can't see what's going on. But I didn't want to put this up on my porch. This grease, I'll drip it everywhere, y'all. 
So that's why I'm out here over the gravel. I am a little bit half broke. Not much, though. I just kind of watch my fish there and see, you know, about when I want to take them out. They ain't no like a definite. They've been there this long and they, you know, I think around seven minutes, but that ain't no guarantee. I just pick them up out of this, shake them over a little bit, to get the excess off. You don't want to get a whole bunch of that meal down in there because it'll just come off and wash to the bottom. It don't take a lot on there to do what you're going to cook in. I know a lot of people, they want to uh, batter them in something and then do it. I don't do that. And I do, if I'm going to cook onion rings, I'll batter them, but... Usually I use egg or something where it'll really bind to it. Well, that ain't on. I not said it didn't want to go down in there. That's been a good knife, y'all. The reason I like it is because I didn't got used to it and it's always in my pocket. Y'all, that temperature will drop down some whenever you get started cooking, but as long as it's still cooking good, it's all right. When you start seeing less bubbles, that means it's about got all the moisture out of that meat. Those bubbles, a lot of people, I, I don't know if they understand, but that's water and moisture coming out of that meat, and that's why it makes all the bubbles. So when you get the inside moisture out of the meat, it'll quit bubbling as much. That's one way to look. It also starts floating, but most of this was fairly floating when I put it in there. Not all the way, but I also watch the color a little bit. And with these LED lights, and that's what most everybody's got now, even in the, which these are fluorescent lights up there, but I keep yellow lights over here under my carport because it, the mixture of the light, I can tell more about the actual color of stuff. With these LED lights, everything just has a, a bright yellow tint to it. It's hard to tell the actual color of stuff. But I got out here filming it dark and y'all couldn't see nothing going on, so I had to put a white light on it. Y'all gonna have to pray for Roscoe, man. He's been off. Oh. I hate to say it, but he's got more than one girlfriend, I think. He don't like to stay at the house. If I don't keep a close eye on him, he'll run slam off, and I have to go get on the buggy and go hunt him. And I found him at two different houses this week. He thinks he's a ladies' man, I believe. He's like some people I know. He just can't control himself. And most of them people stay in a world of trouble because of it. <laughs> ah. Roscoe, he stays in trouble. We had to put him on the chain today. Keep him around. You gonna get up there and get burnt. You get up there and get your nose in that hot fish. I like him a little bit done. I like my fish and my pork done. I'm venison, deer meat, and steak. I can eat it. If you just warm it up good, I'm, I'm good to go. And chicken. I want chicken done. I don't, want, I don't want to put it on my plate and it's still clucking to me. But now if the old, old steak moves a little bit, I just tell it to hush. It ain't, 
You don't need making all that racket while I'm eating. I had a steak one night. If I had to had my knife and my fork, I believe it'd have left. I'm gonna make me a big old platter down there in the shape of a fish to do this with. Don't y'all think that'd just be the coolest thing? The only problem is then all y'all be wanting one and then I have to make 20 of them. But I could probably manage that. I could probably make that happen for a small phenomenal fee, of course. That little dipper works just as good as that old big and I just have to make an extra dip or two. And y'all, that is a, a 44 crappy fillets in there. There's how many is in this. And Paul J took his pole and went up there today to where I caught him at, and I hadn't talked to him to see how he done. I hope he caught him a heap of them, but I don't know. I've, I have literally heard these folks are struggling. Now, I went back up there to fish that spot again because I had told the man that owns that pond that I said, I'll catch you a mess of fish. He had went down there and couldn't hardly catch them either. And I told him, I said, I'll go catch you a mess. And uh, I went down there to catch him a mess, and one of his cows was down in a mud hole in the upper end of that lake. I mean, laid down, couldn't get up. And it had been there at least overnight. And uh, I tried to help it get up, and I couldn't get that thing up. So I called my daddy. I said, I need you to get up. I called that man, he didn't answer the phone. So we called and got two or three together, and... Uh, got him down there and we had to hook a tractor to that thing and a wrap a chain around it to pull that cow up out of that mud hole. But I still struggled. I caught 15 that day and I mean I had to work hard to get them, but I did get them. So I don't know, y'all, the crop is acting funny this year. Uh, everywhere I have fished places that I have just slaughtered them. There's been a chore to get, you can catch a, a good mess. So if y'all struggling, it's, I think everybody is a little bit, but it's probably the weather and all. I believe him about ready to come up. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Tell you what, though. Oh, yeah. You, you, you the cook, you got the sample. A little sample, sample. Man. What you talking about? Oh, dog, that right there make a puppy pull a freight train. Mm. But we fixing to, fixing to put in them hush puppies. I'm going to show y'all how that is done. Many, many people are struggle of making good hush puppies. But here at Spirit of the Outdoors, we know how to make hush puppies. And if y'all don't know nothing about hush puppies, you seen me mix that batter up. We fixing to do it. All right, we still up about the same. Mix this up a little better there. Now, I like mine a little thick. Some people want theirs runny. I find that with it runny, I get the mess all it spreads out. And I tried to get Brody to come out here and be on camera. But he's over there banging on the door holler, knock, knock. He want to go in where I took him crappie in there. Oh. Now what I do is I got a cup of water right here. Mama won't let you in? Yeah. Well, do tell. All right. You drop that spoon down in there and let it come all the way off. You come around on the other side of daddy. I don't know if you need to do this, but you can come over here and stand and watch. Oh, you stop right there. That's close enough. 
What are you doing? I'm making hush puppies. Oh. And I, every now and then you gotta wet that spoon a little bit. You let Daddy do this, buddy. You'll get burnt. That grease is hot, hot. You don't have to dip every time. But every once in a while, watch that. Don't get too close there, folks, Smokey Joe. You'll be on fire. Now, they will come apart on you a little bit. I see we got some stuff of, of floating around in there. But that's just part of, part of hush puppies for you. If you've ever cooked hush puppies and you ain't got some extra stuff of floating around, they perfect little round ball of more power to you. Let me whip that. That's and my eye. Well, see how I put that spoon down in the grease? It makes it come off a whole lot better. And that done that, that's all of them. Now, y'all, a good hush puppy will roll itself. Don't get up there and get burnt. Can you back yourself up there, little fella? Oh, we do that. Do what? Do that. We through with that. But I don't want to do it. Well, hang on just a second. I'm afraid you're going to get up here and get scalded. And you want to dip at them? Yeah. Hey, we need something to put them in. Huh? I don't want to do that. Yeah. Look at them. They rolling themselves, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Uh, but, uh, hang on. You you get you get right there now. Put that in your hand. And just ease in there a little bit. You ain't got to do much. They don't want you meddling with them too much. They, they doing too good. We, we did too good a job for us to be a, a tampering with them. Let's, let's help out and roll it. It wasn't ready to roll. That's why it hadn't rolled. All right. Now, let, let, let's let them cook there a minute. You dig, dig. i got to get something to put them in. You stay away from that. Back up. Boy, them, them right there, y'all smell some, something other fine wild. You back up, buddy. I'm afraid you fixing to get burnt. I I got some loose stuff there. We need to get in out of there. You want to dip all that out if you can when you cooking. Oh man. That rolling. It's rolling. You can see that wild uh, garlic hanging out of there. If you don't back up, you're going to get your nose burnt. I, I want to do that. You want to do what? Yeah. I know you want to play in that hot grease, but you know what's going to happen? You're going to get burnt. What's going to happen when you get that hot grease on you? he got to learn the hard way, y'all. He's going to have a hard life ahead of him. I see. You finna dump it on the ground. You let me have this. I think I know a little more about it than you do. Yeah, that blowing on it ain't no hell. He thinks something's hot, you just blow on it. Some of them's ready. That right there, I believe, is ready. Them first ones that went in there, they all floating good. How about that? It was that? And, Bro and Brody ain't going to have nothing... But dip one of them out, him. Get this. Easy, don't hold it over your head, boy. Let's get this in right here. All right, now we got to hold it right there a minute, shake it around, and we're going to dip it off in there. And y'all talking about some fine eating. And you barefooted is a duck. Somebody told me the other day, said, you need to be barefooted like Brody. And y'all, I get barefooted a lot, him. And somebody said, Mississippi, why you ain't got no shoes on? I said, because this is holy land, man, Mississippi. This is God's country. 
They believed me too when I showed them that video with them crappie coming out of that water one right after the other. Let me do it. I'm letting you do it as much as I'm going to let because little buddy, if I fool around and let you pour that hot grease on your foot, you wouldn't think I was as much of your friends as I am right now. Y'all, we had him, he was reeling crappie in last fall one day. We just went fishing, and I was catching them. Me and Paul J was a catching some, and we had hollered him, and he'd come help reel it. Well, after about two, let me have it now, back up. We finna put some, we're gonna put some french fries in him, some, some of them french fried potatoes. Mm-hmm. Let me get them right quick. I got to, I'll, I'll finish my stove in a second. If that grease boils out, son, and you right there, it's going to scald you. And then we'll have to eat you because you'll be done. Damn, man. But anyway, we had him down there, and we was uh, hanging them crappie, and I'd hand him the pole, and he'd roll it in, you know. About the third one, I handed him the pole, and he said, Leave me alone! <laughs> he, he wanted to reel them crappie in himself. It's a mite fun, ain't it? You like catching them crappie? You want what? It's like French fried potatoes? Yeah. You gotta go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you gotta get them our French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They well, they done. Yeah, they 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 ain't done yet. But they cooking though. They'll be done in a minute. <laughs> you my buddy. Yeah. You my buddy. This is my partner right here. I hate to fuss at him a little bit, keep him, keep him straight. They just smoke doing. Huh? They just smoke doing. That smoke, it's just cause it's hot, it's smoking. It's smoking. Oh, it's making push back. Yeah. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for this food. We pray that you'd bless it to the nurse for our body, that it would give us strength and good health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And touch old Brody over him. Well, Brody, are they good? Yeah. They have bones in it. They have bones Yeah, why has them fish got bones in them? Because. But them don't have bones because Daddy cut them out. There you go. It's got bone in it. Hush puppies don't have bones. Pretty good. Well, thank y'all for watching the Spirit of the Outdoors. We're going to finish our supper. We'll see y'all next time.